This is my newest and by far most convenient colloidal silver generator design. It's got five current limited voltage ranges and five constant current ranges. The voltage ranges start at 10 volts and jump up in 10 volt steps up to a maximum of 50 volts open circuit. The constant current ranges start at one half of a microamp and jump up in uneven steps to a limit of 10 milliamps, roughly about 10 volts open circuit. The mixer design was engineered to only gently stir the water and not agitate it. The reason that's important is, during the colloidal silver generating process, a large amount of sediment will collect on one of the electrodes, and we don't want to bump that off and stir it into the water. This allows us to lift the system out of the water, clean the electrodes off, and place them back in without ever bumping that sediment off the electrodes. The white LED gives you an indication that current is flowing through the circuit. As soon as the electrodes are placed into the water, the LED comes on to let you know that everything is working correctly. It'll slowly get brighter over the course of production. The larger amount of uh, silver that you have in solution, in colloidal suspension, the brighter that light gets. Now this system will allow me to make about 150 parts per million, determined by the coin's weight, over the course of about 12 hours. And if I really want small particles, I can make about 40 parts per million suspension in a glass this size over the course of about four or five days. The reason I claim small particles here, and I wouldn't guess as to their size, is because the solution is crystal clear. I measure about 20 k ohms per cubic centimeter, and based on the coin weight, that's about 40 parts per million. In this setup, highest current settings, I get a nice golden colored um, suspension that lasts for a real long time. So far, lasts about a year, and I've, uh, I've had pretty good luck with this system. It's convenient. The alligator clips will hold the electrodes in place. You can use coins, wires, and just about anything else. The top is made of a material called glastic. It's a chemically neutral, high voltage material made for the electrical industry. And the mix rod is made out of another chemically neutral, non-carcinogenic material that won't release you know, horrible things into your water. The supply itself plugs right into the wall. It's kind of an unholy combination of a wall adapter and a project box. Inside of it is a cascade multiplier I just have the rotary switch on the highest current or the highest voltage ranges attached to each stage of the cascade. The current ranges are limited by capacitors that uh, are in series with the incoming AC from the wall adapter. The design is simple, it's consistent, practically EMP proof. Overall it works great. Just figured I'd share it with you guys and let you design your own.